It really looks cool, though. I mean... Johnny, here, guys! And today, we're talking about the Fly Woo Firefly Baby Quad. The Fire Baby... The, the Fly Baby... Yeah. Remember... When I flew this thing, the Fly Woo Mini Hex. Oh my gosh. Freaking arm broke. I didn't even crash into anything. It just, it just broke. I did nothing. The pavement was his enemy. Uh, this little tiny quad that broke from a tiny three foot fall because from the factory, one of the motors was not soldered on correctly. Um, well, I thought to myself, you know, if this thing just had some protection for these very delicate props, if it just had four motors instead of two, would it actually fly a lot better with this formula? Uh, and Flywheel was like, you know, we did just that. We want to send you one. Uh, we want to make up for that crushing disappointment that you felt on the Flywheel hacks. And I was like, okay, fine, send it to me. And uh, this is the result. So it has these little guards out here. Now these are guards, not ducks. Now that's significant because it actually flies better than something with ducks. Ducks kind of impede some of that airflow and make things fly a little bit worse. So you have a little bit extra weight for these guards, but not too much. I mean, they're actually designed pretty well and they're very um, sturdy. So you should be able to protect these delicate whoop size props. Again, this is essentially like a much heavier version of a whoop. So does it really have any purpose? Can it do anything that a whoop can't do? And does it do anything actually better? Let's go find out and send it for some flights. Uh, some of the other improvements that they've made along the way is I do like this little new strap that they've implemented better than the hex they've also added a little bit of a camera protector out at the front for some camera protection which is nice so they're learning as they go they still have not secured the motor wires in any way on the arms which i think is probably what led to one of these motor wires getting loose uh but at least they are learning incrementally now the frame itself does seem to be very similar i think it's it's very similar top plate uh, it's the same electronic stack inside. I have Ele Express LRS on this thing. I have Crossfire on the four motor version, but you do end up saving a bit of weight here. And I have had to say, I think it actually flies better. Even though it has four motors instead of six, with this small amount of power on 3S anyway, which is what I would want to fly. Like why have something small and fly it on 4S this size? It's not going to be a speed demon if you want to. It really looks cool though. I mean, they've just nailed it with this LED pattern. I like it a lot better than the Hex. I'll tell you that right now. Um, the Hex was just, mm, I don't know if I just didn't like the way it flew because it broke on me, but this thing seems more controllable. Um, and I can actually bump into a wall. If I bumped into a wall with that Hex, all of these tiny new props would have broken immediately. Um, this way, these are still good. I mean, and I do like the way it lights up. It looks pretty cool. It's got Crossfire on board. Uh, not a bad little deal. Um, you can basically use this almost interchangeably with like a Whoop, um, but it flies a little bit better outdoors than like a Whoop, but not as good as something like that Diatone 229 that I showed you. So, what should you do guys which one should you get what should you get on flight on 4s this size it's not going to be a speed demon if you want to have 4s get yourself a two and a half inch like massive droner or something like that i just don't see the point of 4s on this so i'm flying it on 3s it doesn't have a ton of punch you can fly it inside but if you were going to fly it inside would you just want to pick up a whoop instead so if you want something that can kind of go outside a little bit, has a little bit more power outside than your average whoop, then again, something like a Mobula 7 Super Whoop would probably still fly a little bit better outside. That would probably be my pick, but I don't know guys, do you like these things? Um, it's vastly improved. So if you had to pick one of these, I would get the four motor version with the guards. I think they actually started selling a guard for the Hex, so if you get one of the more updated ones, you may get that. But pretty good. Um, I'm seeing improvement here. It flies substantially better. For something this big, it actually can 
um, fly around the house with a lot of control. I can easily weave it in and out just as easily as I would my most controllable whoops. The only thing is um, like an Emacs Tiny Hawk 2 versus this, they both have about the same amount of control, but this has a lot more weight. So if you did crash it into a glass on a counter or into your TV or into your cat, it may do a bit more damage than something a little bit lighter, but you know, pretty cool. What do you think in the comments, guys? If you're going for a micro, are you going something smaller like a whoop or are you going something a little bit more uh, mass to it? Uh, Pretty impressive set of electronics. They're really getting their mileage out of the 16 by 16 stack that they designed. So, I mean, I can't blame them for that. Thanks guys.